See, I don't think that this is, I'm not going to get this right. I can't get the words exactly right. This isn't about what I believe personally. It's partly because I don't know what I believe. I don't know what I believe. The world's a very strange place. I've had some very strange experiences in it. I don't think it's helpful for me to, to step outside my, my jurisdiction and speculate precisely. The easiest thing would be to say, I think I said what I had to say today. I don't think that we know what the upper limits of human possibility are. I think from reading Jung, in large part, that you can make a very strong case for the symbolic meaning of the death and resurrection. I think it does stand for the capacity of the human logos to die and resurrect continually as it strives upward. I'm not willing to say that that's all it means because I don't know what everything means. And I don't know about the fundamental metaphysics of being. Like I do believe that it's accurate to construe being as a battleground between good and evil. I believe that. I believe that is the most accurate way of representing being. It's not the most accurate way of representing the objective world. That's not the same thing. Being is that set of experiences which we inhabit. And that's only partly objective. And it's not obviously reducible to the material, not in any straightforward way, because we don't understand the material substrate of being at all. You know, it's, it's, and when we do attempt to understand it, say at the quantum level, we run into mysteries that, that baffle the most, the most intelligent of us and aware. So I'm going to have to leave the question hanging, but partly because, partly because I don't know what I think, but partly because there has to be a line between what I believe and what, what I can communicate. You know, what you believe is beyond your capacity to articulate if you, at the, most, at the deepest levels of belief. And I can only share with you what I have actually come to understand. And there's things that I don't understand, and that's definitely one of them. I don't know how to draw a line between the symbolic significance of the biblical events, say, the symbolic and psychological significance of the biblical events, and the metaphysics that's underneath them. You know, and I, I think, so I think what's best for me is to stay on the ground that I'm competent on and to say what I can say about the psychology and to reach beyond that briefly when it's necessary, but other than that, to leave it the hell alone till I understand it better, assuming that I ever do.